eyes, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. But what if those symptoms lead to respiratory infections, regular headaches, or chronic cough? Here to tell us more about allergy testing are Dr. Mavin Candula and Dr. Melissa Chadow from Advent Sinus and Allergy Center. Thanks for being here, you Thanks guys. For Thanks for us. having us. Yeah, I think people are, are familiar with you coming yeah. on with breathing um, right. topics and really kind of talking about that sinus, but allergies are something very important to people and a yep. little new to you. Yeah, new newish to new us. I mean, for us, so, and with our specialty, we deal with sort of the start of the airway. Mm -hmm. And as everybody knows, the start of the airway is where, is where the allergens come in. And so a lot of what we deal with is a big crossover with allergy. And so that's why we really made it a big uh, part of the practice here. And that's why we brought Dr. Dr. Chad now in to help with that. Um, and it's been a, a, a great thing. I mean, it's been a good thing. You know, we've, we've always treated allergies and uh, appropriately, but now we've got some new options that are, that are going to be really neat for a lot of different people. And Dr. Chedno, talk a little bit about your history and, and your experience with treating allergies, because this is one of those scenarios where it is pretty much different for everybody. Mm -hmm. It is, definitely. Well, I'm homegrown. I went to medical school here in town at the Medical College of Wisconsin, and then I did a residency in pediatrics at Children's Hospital, and I did my allergy and immunology training here in town as well at the Medical College of Wisconsin. And I've been in practice for 10 years treating patients of all ages. Mm -hmm. So what kind of allergies do you treat? Are there certain ones specifically? I treat the full spectrum of allergic disease, so allergic rhinitis or hay fever, mm -hmm. um, food allergies, asthma, skin allergies such as hives and eczema. Um, immune deficiency, so people that have recurrent inf infections, sometimes we worry that their immune system may not be functioning properly, so we can test, do some preliminary testing for that as well. Mm -hmm. Bee sting allergy. What's, what's going on right now? People who may be ha starting to have uh, those sneezes or itchy sure. eyes or, or congestion, what's in the air right now that they might be allergic to? Right now, uh, we're seeing fairly high counts for, of tree pollen. Tree That's pollen. The, the primary allergen right now, and the mold counts have been up there as well. Okay. So talk a little bit about the process because mm -hmm. a lot of people are allergic but don't know what they're allergic sure. to. So mm -hmm. how do they find that out? Well, the first thing that, that is very important is taking a thorough history. That's very helpful in determining exactly what to test for. Um, so that's a good start. Physical examination is important. And then the allergy testing itself. Mm -hmm. And people are a little apprehensive when they come to see me for allergy testing, but mm -hmm. it really isn't bad. I think things have improved greatly from how it was done years ago. But we... Um, there are two form, primarily two forms of testing, the um, skin prick test or scratch test, and there's a blood test that's available as well. The skin prick testing is easy. We can test for the common inhalant allergens, all your pollens, animals, molds, dust mite, those kind of things. We can also test for food allergies. Um, we can test for penicillin allergy. Mm. And that's all done on your arm, you said, during the break, it, right? Mm -hmm. It is done on your arm. It's a plastic device. Basically, it's loaded with the allergens, which we are um, trying to determine if you're allergic to. And it just scratches the surface of the skin. And basically, we have an answer in 15 to 20 minutes. It's relatively painless. We mm -hmm. can do it on kids. They generally tolerate it very well. That's fantastic, because back in the day, it was on your back, back, and it took that's forever. And mm -hmm. yeah. So this is a, a big, uh, mm -hmm. a lot of progress made in the, mm -hmm. in the area. And then what if you find out that maybe your allergies are particularly severe, you can't mm -hmm. be handled with maybe just pills and so forth, sure. shots come mm -hmm. into play at that point. They do. And a, a common complaint that I hear from patients is well, the medications work you know, fairly well, but I just don't like taking medications. But I'm not treating the underlying cause. It's treating symptoms. Right. So that's not going to cure the allergies. So with the allergy shots, we give injections. Um, we are not able to do it for food allergies, but we give injections for the common inhalant allergens. And it's tailored specifically to each patient. Okay. They only get what they are allergic to. And we have to start at a low dose, and it's gradually increased. Mm -hmm. And um, it changes the underlying immune system, making you less allergic. In wow. the future? So in the future, you'd need less of a, a dose if you were to... Well, we gradually build up to what we call maintenance or full strength mm -hmm. dose. And that's actually given over a peri period of years. So okay. it's not a quick process, but the effects can be long lasting. That's pretty great. If you don't want injections, what about allergy drops? Do those work? They do. It is um, primarily what is used in Europe, okay. and um, I think that we're coming around here uh -huh. in the U.S. Okay. And Dr. Kandula, obviously people are going to, I think, have peaked interest now. Mm -hmm. You have the opportunity for folks to learn more, which is yeah. fantastic, coming mm -hmm. up here in, in about a week or so. Yeah, exactly. We'll be talking about allergy. We'll be talking about sinus issues, anatomy. So I guess the, the, a unique thing with our practice is we can handle anatomy issues if somebody's got blockage, those sorts of things, allergy issues, really whatever the, the, the issues somebody has, we're going 
going to be able to offer, you know, really a comprehensive solution, uh, which is a good thing. And especially with the allergy drops being an, an, an option with our patients as well, um, it opens the door for, for a lot of folks to, to get help. Mm -hmm. So these programs going on next week, we're going to give the information. Do you test at them too, or is it just more information? Just information. So information. we'll be talking, you know, certainly answering any questions that folks have about, you know, these issues, sinus infections, block it, you know, all the mm -hmm. things that we, we, we treat we'll be talking about. Okay, so, so here's the information. So next week, you got to mark down on your calendar, Tuesday and Thursday, you can register for treating sinusitis. Uh, register for free for the free program at 414-771-6780. That's the phone number to call. Tuesday the 28th, next Tuesday, it's at 6 o'clock in Tosa. Or Thursday the 30th, it's at 6 o'clock in Mequon. So you can find the location closest to you to make those appointments. Here's how you can make an appointment otherwise for allergy testing or other issues at Advent Sinus and Allergy at 414-771-6780. So the same phone number located again in two places. It's Tosa or Mequon that you can go in and get your testing done or check out what's going on, right? Absolutely. You don't have to live that way. You do not. Thanks, ladies. <laughs> Lady and <doctor>. gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. You got it. Thank you. All right.